Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, we are going to learn how to tell time to the nearest hour, 15 after, 30 after, and a quarter till. And I'll explain all that when we get to it. All right, stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today on the show, we are going to learn how to tell time to the nearest hour, 15 after, 30 after, and 15 till. Now, I got a couple tricks. First of all, when we take a look at the clock, remember, we got 12 numbers here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We also have two hands on this clock, right? We have a big hand and a little hand. This little hand is a hour hand, and the big hand is a minute hand. Now, for doing this exercise, I also like to say that this big hand is a man hand, because usually men are a little taller than women, and this hand right here will be the lady's hand. Now, my mom always told me that um, when we're going into a door that I need to hold the door for ladies, because ladies need to go first. So gentlemen out there, we want to be practicing kindness and you know treating our ladies really nice. So when we look at a clock, we always want to look at the lady hand because the ladies go first. Now, when we look at the man hand or the minute hand right here, if it is pointing up, that means it's something o'clock. If the minute hand or the man hand is pointing to the, the side here, this is something 15, all right? So if it's pointing toward the three, it's something 15. If it's pointing down, it's something 30. And if it's pointing toward the nine, it's something 45. So once again, if this hand is pointing to the top, it's something o'clock. If it's pointing toward the three, it's something 15. If it's pointing down, it's something 30. And if it's pointing toward the nine right here, it's something 45. All right, let's give it a try here. So right now, what time do you see? Take a look, read the, the lady hand first. It is two and it's something o'clock. It's two o'clock. All right, right now I just moved this to the three. So it's something 15, so it's two 15. All right, now the big hand is pointing down. So it's something 30. So it is 2.30. Remember, we want to always read the ladies' hands first. 2.30. Now the big hand is pointing toward the 9, so it's something 45. So it is 2.45. Now right here, this can get a little confusing. This right here between the 2 and the 3, it's not quite past the 3 yet. Okay, I'll show you when it's past the 3. See, it's still 3 and now it's past the three. Right now, this is in the land of the two. Right in between here, anything, when the red hand is right in here, the lady's hand is in here, it's something two. So it kind of moves around a little bit in between the two and the three, but it didn't go past the three. I'll show you when it goes past the three. So right now, ooh, this could be a tricky one. Can you see what that one is? Remember, the man hand, it's, some, it's on the three, so it's something 15. And the lady's hand just past the three, so it's 315. Excellent. Hey, I'm going to give you another challenge one here. I'm going to put all the hands right down, okay? So we know the big hand is pointing down, so it's something 30. So we take a look at the lady's hand, the hour hand, and it's between the six and the seven, so it's a six, so it's six. 30. Oh, you guys are really good. All right. What time is it now? Eight o'clock. What time is it now? 8.15. What about now? 8.30. Oh, you guys are doing really good. What about now? 8.45. And then it goes back up to nine o'clock. I'm going to give you another challenge one. Some sometimes we'll have both of the hands pointing straight up. So now you know it's something o'clock and the hand is pointing toward the 12, so it is 12 o'clock. Boy, you guys are doing a great job here. You are math ninjas. 
So remember, what we always like to do is we always like to have the ladies go first. So we always read the small hand. This is the lady's hand. This is the man hand, or it, it's the minute hand. And this is the hour hand. And if the big hand is pointing to the top, it's something o'clock. If it's pointing toward the three, it's something 15. If it's pointing down, it's something 30. And if it's pointing to the nine, it's something 45. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I hope you had a great time learning how to tell time. And I hope you check out my other videos and have a good day. Adios.